guys, how you doing? JP Sarikolia here. If you have followed me uh, since the beginning, uh, you know that I'm a big fan of Kurobukiya. I started reviewing Kurobukiya statues, uh, and I've always been a fan. I love the products. Uh, I love the art, the, the the sculptors that have been part of the company. Uh, however, in recent years, I also have, I have expressed my frustration with Kurobukiya because of a lot of the decisions they have made as a company. Uh, they are very quiet in comparison to other companies that really don't communicate as well. So I've been kind of disappointed uh, on the sidelines, but it doesn't mean that I don't pay attention. And uh, recently they released uh, two new statues. One is actually a, pretty much a reissue of a previous statue that I already reviewed, which is the Batman of Hush. This is a different version. Uh, this is actually the third version that they have produced. Uh, and I want to really talk about it. And also this new Batman, the Thomas Wayne, based on the Flashpoint. I really want to talk about it because they really caught my attention. They they look pretty good. They look pretty neat. I'm a, a fan of the artifacts collection. So we're going to talk about him today. The good and the bad. What I like about him. What I don't like about him. And ultimately, I want to let you know if I think you need to add him to your uh, DC collection or not. So in the next couple of minutes, stay tuned. All right, guys, we are going to start with Batman Hush. And for this reason, I'm here at SciShow uh, because I love the website, the way they present the stuff. They are available also directly from Kurobukiya USA. Uh, you can also get them through Big Bad Toy Store. So there are plenty, plenty places where you can find them. They're going to be available everywhere, even at Amazon at some point. Uh, as you can see right here, Batman Hush is an artifacts collection. Artifacts means technically that this is around one six scale made out of PVC for those who do not know. Uh, the price is $130, which I think is fair for now. You can choose a layaway pay a payment plan that, that's offered through SciShow. The estimated arrival for this is April uh, of 2021 and June of 2021, which is pretty much some months down the road. Uh, this is going to release in Japan in March. So normally it releases in Japan before it makes it to the, to the U.S. or internationally. But uh, before we get into the pictures, we're going to read some of the information here. Uh, Kurobukiya presents a new addition to the Artifacts lineup, Batman Hush Artifact Statue. Well, it's, it's a new addition for this particular version, but it's not a new statue. Batman now appears in his infamous blue costume and stands as just about 30 centimeters tall. Well, I wouldn't say that this is blue. This looks purple. Uh, Batman's muscular silhouette is poised and ready to fight against crime. His presence fully encapsulates the essence of Gotham City's Dark Knight. Batman stands upon the black base decorated with a bat symbol in the center and his battle tattered cape swirling dynamically around him. This statue comes fully assembled and ready to display. Just insert the feet into the included base for early display. This product is a re-release of DC Comics Batman Black Custom Version Artifact Statue with new package design and suit collar. Now, yes, it is a re-release, but not of the black version. This is the third version after the blue and gray. That was the first one. So, you know, there's some mis missing information here. Uh, of course, you know, it's the brand of DC Comics. Now, the materials for this is ABS and PVC. Now, it doesn't say anything about the sculptor, but this is uh, Koei Matsumoto. This is the original uh, sculptor. Uh, the product size, the height is 11.2 inches, and it doesn't have dimensional weight. There's no information there. So now let's uh, look at the pictures. And I would say it is the same sculpt. No, nothing different from that. Uh, it is a very nice sculpt. If you remember well, I reviewed the black version years ago. I love the black version. Uh, I think it's perhaps up to this point the best version. Although the original, of course, is the original. People are going to go for the original. The only problem that I have with the original version was that it, it, I felt that it was too dark. It has a lot of, it, of course, it has the blue and the gray was really almost black. And, uh, it, you know, the shading was all over the place. So I feel that it was too dark. It's still a good, nice looking piece. There were actually three different runs. So there are different variations on every run on the same blue version because they released it a couple of times, different runs. Uh, pretty much there in the thousands of pieces they produce the black version also have like three different re-releases i love the black version i love the gray uh in the body uh the black of course you don't need any shading so it was perfect it's a nice it's a nice piece now my problem with this one is that it is purple um i don't know if it has something to do with the pictures maybe the, the lighting or something but this is not blue this is purple uh, you know, I don't know if this is just something that is happening in the right now for the pictures and it, it will be fixed at some point. 
Uh, this is one of those situations where actually um, you will have to wait until it comes out to really look at it, maybe at your store or through reviews before you can even, I would say, pull the trigger. If you're not a fan of this color scheme, uh, I don't know why they went with this, because to be honest with you, you know, the previous versions, um, you know, even though they were nice and all, they were never 100% accurate with the art, the Batman Hush art. So I feel that this is the only thing that I'm going to complain about this. I love this. I know that right now there is a lot of, uh, you know, the color is uh, uh, that work for DC. You, you are going to notice that there's a lot of, um, there's an infatuation with like purple and pink colors. Uh, so everything has kind of like that feel. Even Batman has like a more like a purple cape. So I don't know if this is the case. They're going with the pretty much modern renditions of the colors. But to me, this kind of, I don't know. It's kind of dumb to choose that as the paint scheme, but technically this is based on uh, Jim Lee's art. If that's the case, then I feel that uh, Kurobuki is going the cheap route instead of just building a new Batman, you know, based on the art, I don't know, of Greg Capullo or based on the art of Eva Reese or any other, you know, the newer artists, they're just going for the same sculpt that they had and they just repaint it. So I, ho I hope that this is not just me scaring people away from buying this. I hope that this is not the, the color and ultimately the last version of whatever comes out on retail has the nice blue because definitely that would be if, if it's a nice blue, they will they, this will make this the perfect uh, Batman Hush version of this statue, in my opinion, uh, because, yeah, this is the thing. That's the reason why I never really care much about the blue one. I always found it too dark. The original, you know, and the black one was a better option, but it was not, you know, the actual colors based on the art. But again, the sculpt is fantastic. Uh, some people might not like some of the seams that you might see some here and here and there. But um, believe me, this is a nice piece. It has nice presence, nice sculpt. And uh, in my opinion, it is a good option. But I still I still would say to you, I would recommend you just to wait. If you are having a problem with the colors, then just wait until uh, you see it in, in person or until you see some reviews because it's going to be available everywhere. So it's going to be here for a while. So you don't have to really jump the gun right away. All right. Now I'm looking at Batman Thomas Wayne, and this is another Artifacts 1-6 scale. Uh, it is a bit more expensive, ten dollars more than the uh, the Batman Hush is one hundred and forty dollars. The right now you can pre-order. You know, it's the estimated arrival is the same time as Batman Hush between April and June of next year. And let's read the information. The Flashpoint comic book crossover story arc that was released in two thousand eleven by DC Comics ended in a surprising climax. What if the one who was killed by the robber, the infamous scene that marks the birth of Batman, was actually Bruce Wayne? rather than his father. This rendition of Batman showcases Thomas Wayne from the alternate timeline of Flashpoint as he tries to get his revenge after losing his own son. With the red circle behind the bat symbol and the red holster that holds his gun he uses to mercilessly fight against criminals are all elements that add vivid color and accent to the dark tone costume, instilling fear in his enemies. Uh, the pose shows a father who is full of determination as he can be seen walking toward the light. This 1-6 scale statue standing at 12.99 inches brings to life the very essence of the question what if for Batman from this alternative arc. Display this statue with other Kurobukiya products, such as the DC Comics Batman Hush statue, to add to your Batman family collection. The artist is E.K. Jitsukana. E.K. is the one that has been doing uh, the Marvel stuff right now for Kurobukiya. He is pretty much the, the main artist for the fine art statue line. And this are made out of PVC. The height is 12.99 inches tall and no dimensional weight. So now let's look at the pictures. And I'm telling you this. I love EK uh, sculptures. I love his art. He's very, very good. I wouldn't say that I'm so crazy about the pose of the Wolverine, but it is a very nice sculpted Wolverine. And EK is a terrific sculptor. And you can see that he's getting better as, you know, as, of course, as, as, as time progresses, as he get, uh, gets older, more mature, he definitely becomes better in his craft. And um, this is no exception. I really love his depiction of Batman uh, Thomas Wayne. Look at that. It's a nice pose and it's very refreshing. This is out of the left field. Perhaps it's not for everyone, but I really love that. Uh, now, the, the whole Artifacts line, DC Artifacts line, has been sculpted up to this point by uh, Koei Matsumoto, and he is also very good. 
but I really love what EK did here. He did terrific with this. Uh, love that. The presence. Love the paint job here. This is accurate. So this is the thing where I would say that this is better than Batman Hodge. If I have to choose between Batman Hodge and this, I go for this one. It's, it's a very stylish uh, Batman for sure. Look at that. With the holster. The boots. One thing that you are not going to like about this... Um, this statue is the pretty much the base, the plastic base. The whole statue is made out of PVC. However, the bases are, are made out of ABS uh, vinyl, so it's like the cheapest part of it. The good thing about that that happened with all of them is that you can replace and you can remove them, and uh, you don't have to worry about it because the peg is in the base, not in the statue. So that's the good thing. So you don't have to display with those cheap bases. But I really like this one, man. I, it looks very, very neat. That cape looks good. The pose is very regal. Love the colors. This is definitely a must, in my opinion. If you haven't read Flashpoint, you should. It's a very fun read. And I uh, really love this version. The red eyes. The, the paint job is well done. The, pretty much the anatomy is good. Uh, it's well detailed. So this is a nice piece. I really like this one. And I'm, I'm definitely going to get this one for myself. I'm not so sure about Batman Hush, but <laughs> but this one definitely I recommend. I love that. There's some tones in there. Even you see some little purple in there, which is fine. Uh, it's not overtaking the whole thing, you know, like it does with Batman Hush. Uh, again, like you can see that base, not a good base. You know, it has a little bit of more detail than previous bases for the artifacts line. But it's not that, you know, that much. Now, I know a lot of people are kind of disappointed also because, you know, they saying, you know, like, why are you producing more Batman? Why are you reissuing the, the previous Batman and now you're doing this? How about other characters? How about Martian Manhunter? How about all the characters that you you you, you haven't done? And, and we've been waiting for quite some time. The Artifacts DC line has been, you know, pretty much alive for quite some time. You know, on live support has been out for a long time. So a lot, of, a lot of people are asking, you know, and that's fair. You know, we need more characters. But if they're going to go on this route, um, I like this Batman. And hopefully this one does well. And hopefully we get more characters, you know, not only in the Bat family, but characters in the entirety of the DC universe. Like, I don't know. I would love to see a Green Arrow. I would love to see all those characters that are missing. But um, only time can tell. Uh, I would say I would recommend this one, I think, is uh, it's a must. You know, you don't really have to go all out on this one, uh, like, period right away, because it's going to be all over. Um, but I, I would say if you have to choose between this and the Batman Hush, I would say this one, is, you know, definitely it's a must. Batman Hush, if you, have, you don't have any other version, if you can go for the other previous versions, go for them. Um, or wait for this one until it comes out to see the first reviews and see if, you, if the colors are fine. And if you like it, go for it. That's my opinion. I don't know what's yours. Let me know in the comments below. So once again, my friends, thanks for watching. God bless. Take care. And I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.